it is probably fair to say that you know uh, your kid did a terrible thing when you yourself end up running from the police, like the parents of Ethan Crumbly. They made a break for it after their 15-year-old shot dead four students at his Michigan high school. Uh, their names are Jennifer and James Crumbly, and they were cited, actually, for failing to secure their guns, not responding to their son's disturbing behaviors, and then ignoring his mental health as well. And they were supposed to turn themselves in because of that, but they did not. Instead, they took off, and police, and U.S. Marshals, and the FBI spent hours and hours tracking them, ultimately to the basement of an art studio in Detroit where they were hiding out. The authorities threw in four additional counts against these uh, two, uh, involuntary manslaughter for the terror that their boy caused to hundreds of students. And now we are learning uh, that all of this can be very hard on a loving relationship and the Crumblies might now actually be crumbling. Apparently, Jennifer Crumbly has been telling other inmates that she's housed with that all of this, all of the death and the devastation, is the fault of her husband, James. According to the prosecutor, she's blaming James for buying their underage son the gun that he used in the massacre, and then also uh, blaming him for ignoring Ethan's mental health. Allegedly, mom is accusing dad of taking no responsibility for the son's behavior, even after a highly disturbing phone call from the school the day before the shooting, the defense says that prosecutors are simply trying to make the Crumblies appear, quote, not united. I don't know what that is, so if that's an advantage or not. Their trial is 11 weeks away. Who knows if when they are in court together, they will be mouthing the words, I love you, across the courtroom. I say that because that is exactly what they did at an earlier hearing until the judge told them to stop doing that. And of course, we will be covering that case, so watch this face. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.